Hello everyone, this is Sheila. Would you like to learn how to repot and propagate snake plants? Then this video is for you. So let's proceed. Since this snake plant got delivered with broken leaves, might as well use some of them for propagation. Because we all want more of these lovely and interesting succulents anyway, right? So step number one, let's choose the older and outer leaves. Step number two, we have to cut the leaves as close to the base as we can. Now let's set this mother snake plant aside because we will be transplanting it to a really nice tall planter later. So remember to stick around until the end and I will show you some very impressive updates on the cute baby snake plants and the wonders of how fast the mother plant grows after repotting. Okay, so here are the two leaves that we will propagate. And from these, we can get up to six propagations. So step number three, let's cut the leaves into six. Step number four, let's put about an inch of water in a container. And then step number five is to simply place the cut leaves. There is a second option, which is to plant it straight in soil which is a very simple one and done process. But there are two disadvantages to doing this and I will discuss it in a bit. So remember to stick around until the end of this video, okay? Because for now, I'll show you how to repot the mother plant and you'll see how much doing this process will do. Because I will show you before and after shots of the mother plant and how much she has grown after she has been placed into this bigger planter. So let's start working on the mother snake plant. Step number one is to inspect the root area to minimize damage to the mother plant. If you would look here, we actually have a bud that will soon shoot out to the surface as a baby snake plant. So we really need to be careful not to break that off as we separate the units. Step number two, let's remove as much of the old soil as we can. In case you're wondering why I'm trying to divide these into three units, it is to give this busy mom some room to push her baby. And later in this video, you'll actually see how fast this baby has grown because of this process. Step number three is to gently pull the three units apart and now we have three individual mother plants. And the baby is still safely intact. Step number four, and I think this is the fun part, which is to plant them. Let's reposition this one, and let me see. Oh, what's this? Look, we actually have two buds. Look at this. So I'm guessing this one will grow this way, and the other will grow the other way. See why we need to give them space? And please remember to hit the like button. Step number five, let's clean them up a bit using this flat brush. And since people would always ask about the tools that I'm using, I have a link to this brush in the description below, okay? Because this brush is real flat and soft, it can get into real tight spaces between the leaves of my succulents. That's why I love it. Okay, so as promised, this is our before image footage of our snake plant planter. And later, I will also show you the babies that sprouted from our leaf propagations. But for now, let me show you an update on the buds that we found. So just about three weeks after, here is the baby that sprouted from the first bud. And this is the second baby from the smaller bud. And this is where we took the leaves that we used for propagation. And in just less than a month after, here is the first bud, which is now twice its size. And here is the second bud, which is definitely well on its way too. And proudly, here they are four months after. Bigger and healthier than the mother plants that I ordered at the start of summer. And now, I'm about to share with you multiple stages of our snake plant leaf propagation. So stage one is this, where we are only showing just roots at first. So this is our water propagation, and here is our propagation in soil. I found that in my case, soil propagation is slower, 
and you'll see why I'm saying this as I show you our stage two. Do you see how it doesn't have as much roots and that they are a bit finer? This is the first disadvantage to propagating in soil. The other disadvantage is that we wouldn't really see if something is happening to our propagation or not. So here is stage two. See how now we have a tiny snake plant bud? Let me just adjust the view so that you can see this better. We actually even have two buds. The other one is just way too small to see right now. Stage three is when we start to see actual snake plant leaves. At this stage, it's looking more like a baby plant than a bud. And I think the second one is more visible too. Do you see it? So at stage four, we have been growing our snake plant in a hydroponic environment. Which reminds me that my next video is how to grow succulents, berries, and herbs indoors in a hydroponic system. So remember to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you won't miss it, okay? So going back, I'm happy to share with you our stage four where you see a healthy growing snake plant. And as always, my message for you today is that all of our words and actions are prayers in itself. So talk and act consistently with what you are asking for and your results will be what is rightfully yours. Sometimes those results may not seem to be what is good for us. There is always a better plan when things don't turn out the way we want it. So again, our words and actions are prayers in itself. Thank you. This is Sheila again, your person on a mission for succulent fame. Sending inspirations your way with every succulent. Remember to subscribe and share this video.